That's okay. Joining us from Arizona, head coach Adia Barnes, student athletes Jada Williams, Esmeray Martinez. The format will be opening statement from coach. We'll then move to questions for the student athletes first. Please wait for the microphone, state your name and affiliation. As, as a reminder, please silence your cell phones and recording of this press conference is prohibited. Coach? I'm extremely excited. You know, Auburn's a really tough physical team and we just came out and battled. Um, you know, didn't play a lot of people, but came out and just um, played a really good first half and just proud of our tournament win. I'm proud of our freshmen and is marrying our seniors. Just, we're just proud of all, all seven or all eight now. Questions for the student athletes up front on the left. PJ Brown, Arizona Daily Star, and this is for Ez. Um, what can you say about uh, Jada? She came out um, just so aggressive and ready to go. I know in yesterday's practice, she was the one who was getting everybody going. Um, what have you seen from her? What did you see from her tonight that really helped you guys win this game? Well, I feel Jada is the type of person that brings energy in the court and outside the court. She, when she saw us down, she's trying to like pull her out and trying to like give her some energy. Even when we like on her, she trying to like like tell her, pushing us like to go hard and then don't think about it again because it's just a game. Keep working hard. Questions, student athletes. Right here on the left, third row. Megan Gower, her hoop stats. Jada, your first NCAA tournament game. You didn't look nervous out there, 17 points, but how did it feel going out there for your first March Madness experience? Yeah, I think um, my team was really, really ready and prepared for this. Um, in the locker room, we were all just mentally focused, mentally ready. We knew the game was going to be very physical, so we tried to play through all the fouls and all that stuff. But just play aggressive, play our game, play loose, play smart, things like that. But yeah, I think we just everyone played a, a, re a really good game. I think we we controlled the pace of the game for most of the game. When they went on runs, we stopped them. But I think we played overall a, a really good game. Question up front and the left. Jada, when they made it a, a tight game towards the end, and it seemed like Helena was the one, and and as. I remember Ez got a defensive rebound that was really key, and Helena had her hand in everything, whether it was an assist, a score, a deflection. It didn't matter what it was. Um, what was it in that moment that you think helped your seniors really push it and, and help you guys at that moment? Yeah, I think we've been in situations like this all year. Um, in the Pac-12, we play competitive games every weekend, so I think we're prepared for this. But so things started getting chippy. So when I seen Helena point at somebody, you get Helena mad, then I think it's over for you. <laughs> Helena doesn't get doesn't get mad, but you can tell when Helena has the ability to take over a game. So she do it. We just say good job. You know, we, <laughs> she's on her own timing. But when Helena decides to do that, we're all proud of her. We know she has the ability to do that. As she's a fighter, came in with four fouls, still played aggressive, still played good defense, got us. Uh, like momentum shifting rebounds. So I think both of them are just, those are our leaders. We look up to them and we know that they're going to come in and do everything they can to help us win. Questions for the student athletes? Is that your son right there? Does he yes, have a question? No, he oh, okay. No, okay. We'll, we'll go right back up to the front left again. This is for both uh, Ez and, and Jada. Um, what, you know, all season long, especially over the last month or so, you guys sort of, have a different type of mentality, right? It's sort of us against the world. Um, you really came together. What is your What was your goal coming in here? I mean, are you just trying to prove to everybody that you belong and that they should be paying attention to Arizona women's basketball? I think, yeah, I think we're not just happy to be here. I think we talked about that before the game with our strength coach, Chris. We're not just happy to be here. A lot of teams might just be happy to be here, but we're here to make a statement. We're here to make a run, and we're going to keep fighting until the end. Yeah, she's right. <laughs> Questions for the student athletes? Or at least we'll excuse you, let you get back to the locker room. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Congrats. <laughs> Questions for coach? Back left. 
No. <laughs> Uh, Jack Cooper with 13 News. Um, I guess just foul trouble early on, kind of talk about how that changes maybe your game plan, what you guys do. You only have seven, eight players that, yeah, that you Yeah, it changed use. a lot because if you saw how we defended in the first quarter, second quarter, really well, I thought our on-ball defense, our pick-and-roll defense really disrupted them. Didn't allow them to go downhill because they're very good at going downhill and they're really athletic and tough to guard one-on-one. -on -one. So. You saw a shift in the third quarter. Because we had foul trouble, we had to go more passive on our on balls. And then we, we gave up 20 points in the third quarter. And we had only give up 19 in the first two quarters. So that does limit us. But I think just us learning the, how the game is being called and being smarter is very important. Um, so, you know, like talking to Bray, and she's a freshman, so these are learning. Um, things. It's stuff that she's going to learn with more experience. But when you have to, you can't go for that block. Uh, you can't go for that handshake. If you're late on something, it's better just to contain versus getting a third foul because then we have to sit her. And, and that, took out, that takes away your rhythm. So I think just those kind of things. And it's funny because we are, you know, we have to improve on boxing out. Well, today we were intentional about it. We knew one of the keys to the game to winning the game was to box out. And we got like five fouls on boxing out. And I think that's the first time ever. And a couple of them, I was, you know, they were tough calls, but they were trying to do it, so I'll take those. But I think just playing smarter because of our depth and just learning from that. And, and as we advance, um, we have to do that. Because for a while, I was like, because we can get to a situation where we don't have enough players to finish. So we just have to be smarter. Is there a question up front on the left? No. Yes? No. I'll... PJ's always had I thought a she had her hand up. <laughs> So, Adia, um, you, um, what does this mean to you to, to win this game in the fashion that you did? Well, it means a lot because there's no doubt we should be here. We deserve to be here. I think we should have been even seated a little bit better, but that's just what I think. Um, you know, I think that we play against good teams every single weekend, so we're definitely prepared. Um, so I think that that's why you'll see Pac-12 teams um, have success in the tournament. And I think that we feel that we could play with anybody um, at any time, and we get prepared for that because it's tough every weekend in the Pac-12. So um, we don't care if it's SEC school, ACC, Big Ten, Big 12. Um, we're ready. And you know that's one of the good things about starting three freshmen is they don't really know what to expect, so they don't know what to be nervous for because they've never done it. So they just go out and play. And I mean, for us to do this with three freshmen and um, you know two seniors, I think it's it's meaningful. It's really hard to do because they are just freshmen and they're learning and they've never played on this type of stage. So that's why this one is more meaningful. I mean, Auburn's a, a experienced team and they're physical, they're good, they're, um, you know, they're tough. So I, at halftime, some of Jada said, oh, they're strong. <laughs> and I was like, I know. Um, it's just a different game, but this is postseason. It's win or go home. And we stepped up to the plate and I think we punched first and we played, we played a pretty good game and I don't think we played our best. Um, I think we can even play better. We turned it over more than we normally do. Helena never has five turnovers. Um, we don't usually turn the ball over 18 times. But um, I think we're still, we still haven't played our best basketball. So I think as, hopefully as we progress, we'll play better. When you look at this, um, when you look at this win, it was really a balanced attack. I mean, we're talking about what Jada <clears throat> did and the spark that she brought and, and what the seniors brought. But everybody, all seven, had a huge part in what you did. You know, Courtney was was a real good defensive mm -hmm. stopper. Isis played some good minutes. What does it mean, you know, at this point of the season to have everybody come together and really contribute and have good games? I mean, that's what you want to do. I think when you prepare your team all year, you prepare to play well in March. And I think that's what you work for. And you work for seating and you work for positioning to do this. Um, we talked in the pregame. I don't think any of us thought We'd be in the NCAA tournament like six weeks ago. There was a lot of changes. We lost half of our scoring this year. Um, but we found a way to rally. And we have the right eight. And um, they're relentless. They're tough. They don't care who we play at any time. And that's, those are freshmen with that mentality. And that's usually something that you're learning throughout your career. So I think um, for us, it's just coming out, playing like to the defense we know we can play. We do make mistakes. but. Just um, being relentless, one possession at a time, and you know we traveled across the country two time zones um, to play this team. So I'm proud of us. I think that the future is bright. We have the foundation of um, good young players. So I'm just excited to see us in a couple of years after getting this experience. But I don't think these freshmen play the way they do without all the experience in the Pac-12. They've they had a lot of playing time. 
They had, um, they played a tremendous amount of minutes and this has prepared them for this moment. So, I said, did I answer your question? Okay, kinda. What part did I miss? Cause it was a long question. Yeah, it was. Well, it's just that you, such a balanced attack. Oh, balanced attack. It's, it hasn't always been that way, even across the last month. Yeah, so I think I'm proud of, as Mary got in foul trouble, she sat and then she came out and still, still did some great things. Um, Brea started off hot. She started off hot and then she had to sit because of foul trouble. I think she would have had a big game. Um, Jada did not shoot the ball well. I think she was one for six, I, I want to say, in the first half. But she drew 10 fouls and got to the free throw line. So she didn't play her best game, didn't shoot it as well as she normally does. And then you look at Helena. I think Helena played well. Skyler played well. But I don't think they played the best that they normally play. But to have the balance, everybody stepped up and did different things. And one person I want to point out that was really key in us to w winning this game is Isis. She played 26 minutes when as Mary and Brea were in foul trouble. And she was phenomenal off of help with, with Grayson. So Grayson was running off a lot of staggers and different pin down actions, and she did a good job of helping and helped Helena contain her. So that doesn't show up on the stat sheet, but that was very valuable. And then Courtney, you said, came in and played defense. So everybody, even if it wasn't scoring, it was doing different things at different times that helps us win the game. So I, I mean, I think it's balanced, and we only have seven, so everybody will always get playing time. Um, so you know, they play, they play free, and I think everybody played well. But four people in double digits is really good. We're going to take a question on Zoom. Javier, what's your question? Uh, Javier Morales, All Sports Tucson. Adia, just to touch on just what you said about um, balance and, uh, you know, Skyler and, and uh, Jada, they're freshmen. They combined for 30 points and 13 of 18 at the free throw line. Just talk about how they played in their first NCAA tournament game. They played awesome, but you know, Javier, they've gotten better every single game. So I remember Skylar's first start, she was, I think it was against Stanford at home. She was like so nervous, awful, but just the way that they've grown, her and Jada and Brea has been just amazing to watch and be a part of. Um, and to show up like this, 13 for 18 from the free throw line, like you said, and combine for 30 points as freshmen on the biggest stage is pretty impressive. Um, and I'm just excited to see how they just how they're going to be throughout their career if they're doing this as freshmen. But proud of them. Um, this was a team that they they pressure you really. They're really tough pressure, and I think they handled it well. I think Sky did a great job of attacking the rim. Jada did a great job of finding a way to score when it wasn't with shooting. It wasn't with her shots. It wasn't just spot up threes or, or pull up jumpers. Those weren't falling. So what did she do? She, uh, she knows that they're aggressive. She's really smart. And she started attacking the rim. And that was, that's a good way to get confidence and get back into a game. And then she drew 10 fouls. So she drew you know, almost, half or, almost half of the fouls. Um, so just freshmen usually don't do that. And they don't understand it or they hang their heads when their shots are off. And these freshmen don't. Um, and that's one of the reasons why we've had success and why we're in the tournament. These three freshmen have started for a long time. And they're continuing to just battle, show toughness and leadership. And Jada is, is one person that's really done that. She, as Mary said it, um, she, she's a connector. She brings people together and brings a sense of um, toughness when she's never been here. But also one thing to remember, Javier, is Jada and Brea have played on They've played at high levels. They've played with USA Basketball, so they have experience against um, you know, good competition, but not the tournament. We have time for one last question. We're going to go back to Zoom. We're going to go to Kim Doss. Hey, Adia. Um, about the foul trouble, Bray's first couple were out there on the perimeter uh, rather than inside. Yeah. What does she still need to do out there so she still needs to not use her hands so much. So her body is her body positioning and her and her foot, her feet are in the right place. But what she tends to do is on the drive, she tends to touch, and so those are those are fouls that are called. Um, and she has to learn not to do that. Or she tends to reach after kind of a play is dead and gets fouls like that. I think that throughout the year she's she struggled with those type of fouls, but then she's kind of she's corrected it. And then tonight just had a couple of those, but. The challenge for her in, in her defense is these guards are really fast. So they're coming downhill really fast and, and she's having to jump out and be aggressive. So, um, you know, I think that 
once she learns how, if she gets one, like don't take the risk on the second one or don't go over someone's back on that second one. Or when you have two, then don't go for that block shot. It's better to go straight up and, and give a layup versus get your third and have to sit. And those are things that she's gonna learn. We show her film, we continue to teach and um, she'll just get better at that. But she definitely has to improve that because I think her today, she played 16 minutes. Um, but I think if she plays 25, I think she easily has a double-double. She started off the game, you know, two for two. So um, she'll continue to get better and learn, and we'll continue to teach her. Coach, thank you and congrats. Thank you.